Hi, and welcome back to Photo Education Online. I'm Larry Lurcy, and this week we're going to talk a little bit about the softbox. We touched on it last week when we were looking at the whole studio, and today I wanted to go a little more in depth about why I use a softbox and, and how it helps. And basically, what the softbox does is it is basically modifying the light. It's taking the hard light coming from the bulb and making it spread out through this larger panel so that you get a softer light. I'll, let me show you real quick. I'm going to take the, the front off of this and show you what the light would look like hitting my face um, without any sort of softbox. So let me do that real quick. Okay, so now I've just got the bare bulb shining in my face and it's going to be a, a much more hard light. You're going to have a lot more shadow, a lot more speculars, uh, a lot less room for error with your exposure because you, you've just got such a harsh light source coming in. And so I prefer to work with a little softer light and so we're going to have basically something in front of the light instead of the light coming from this really small source by covering it with this fabric now my light source is much larger and basically the larger the light source is the softer the light so let's uh, put this back on okay so now that we've seen what the softbox does I'm going to show you how to use the softbox to get different looks from the same light source but we're going to change it by how it is in relation to the subject and as opposed to if it's in front, beside, or in back of where the subject is you can see right now I'm slightly behind the softbox. So it's giving me this nice broad illumination across my face and there's not a whole lot of shadow side versus the light side. It's a little bit brighter on this side but it's still a nice uh, wrap around of light and so it's it's a very forgiving light that I can move around a little bit like this and still basically have the same light on me. So that's how I will use it the, the majority of the time for a portrait session. Now, if I want to something a little more dramatic, what I can do is by moving forward so that now I am beside the light, now it's going to give me much more of a split light. Even though it's a, a big soft light source, because I am right in the middle of it, it's going to give me more of a light side, dark side, so you can see a lot more shadow now on this side, and uh, that gives you a little more of a, a dramatic look. Now, if I want to move on up further, so that where I am pretty much in front of the light source, this is a lot of times how I will use it for a, a profile type shot where I'm going to look this way and let the light come across and that'll give you a much more dramatic type lighting. So basically by just moving either the subject or the light around it, it's giving us a whole bunch of different looks with the same light source and we can even multiply that by using our fill card using the white fill card versus a black will further um, move that lighting into more or less contrasty type looks. And so that's the basic tools you're going to use and I hope you'll play around a little bit with moving your light around and see the different results that you get. Uh, that's it for this week. Be sure and check back for more tutorials. Thanks a bunch. Bye-bye.